Hey everyone, this is Linnea Lucan from the Heartland Institute here with another quick climate fact check. In this video, I'm going to talk about an element of atmospheric science that tends to be ignored or downplayed in the public debate about climate change. That is, the saturation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is just one of many gases that make up our atmosphere. Really, it's a trace gas, only making up four parts per 10,000 in the atmosphere. All gases have particular wavelengths of energy that they are able to absorb, and then only so much as you add more of the same gas until they are saturated. Carbon dioxide can absorb long wave radiation, which translates to warmth being retained in certain parts of the energy spectrum and in finite amounts. You can think of this like putting masking tape over a window. One strip will block the light, but as you add more on top of that strip, there will come a point where adding even more will not change the amount of light that can be blocked by that strip anymore. It's already maxed out. Numerous scientists, including prominent atmospheric physicists from MIT and Princeton, suggest that our atmosphere is already saturated with CO2 in terms of its ability to cause measurable warming, that the maximum power, so to speak, for CO2 to cause any warming is maxed out around 400 parts per million. Even doubling the amount of CO2, according to their research, would have no perceptible impact on temperature because it's already absorbed the total amount of long wave radiation that it can. Other research shows that the most warming impact from CO2 comes from the first 20 parts per million, and any additional effect pretty much flatlines after 260 parts per million. This research is seemingly borne out by the fact that across the long arc of history, significantly higher levels of CO2 in the atmosphere than at present were often accompanied by cooler temperatures, or temperatures similar to today's. This research would seem to suggest that additional increases to atmospheric CO2 at this point would have no warming impact on the planet, and that the vast majority of CO2's effect on warming happened long before industrialization. That's all I have for this fact check. For the sources used as references in this video, you can check out climateataglance.com, where you can also download a free copy of the book Climate at a Glance for Teachers and Students. If you prefer paper, you can purchase a hard copy on Amazon. We also have an app available called Climate at a Glance for Android and iPhone. Thanks for watching.